Real Alien Encounters NASA astronauts share their experiences with extraterrestrials. How often have we thought about the existence of life beyond Earth, and feared that if we ever encountered extraterrestrial beings, they might wreak all kinds of havoc on our planet, as shown in the movies. But the pertinent question still remains, do aliens exist? Some might think the only people who believe in aliens are forum-dwelling internet conspiracy theorists, but several NASA astronauts believe extraterrestrials exist, and have been in touch with humanity for a long period, reports said. Data Cruncher, and blogger Sam Monfort in his blog on February 21 said the number of unidentified flying objects, UFOs, sightings is currently at an all-time high. He wrote that one of the first recorded UFO sightings was in Portland in 1905, where a buzzing sphere-shaped UFO descended from the clouds. According to Monfort's report, there have been 104,947 reported sightings on record over the past 100-plus years. He used information from the National UFO Reporting Center, New Fork, which collects and disseminates objective UFO data, and keeps careful logs of all UFO sightings worldwide. Furthermore, there have been several astronauts such as Edgar Mitchell, Caddy Coleman, Edwin Buzz Aldrin, Donald Slayton, and Dr. Brian O'Leary who have claimed to have seen UFOs. Aldrin, one of the first people to walk on the moon, had shared his experience on board the Apollo 11, when he and fellow astronauts saw something flying alongside their spacecraft. Initially, they thought it was the final stage of a detached rocket, until mission control confirmed it was 6,000 miles away from them. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin According to the NASA astronaut Neil Armstrong, the aliens have a base on the moon, and told us in no uncertain terms to get off, and stay off the moon. According to unconfirmed reports, both Neil Armstrong, and Buzz Aldrin saw UFOs shortly after that historic landing on the moon in Apollo 11 on 21 July 1969. According to a doctor Vladimir Rizaza, Neil Armstrong relayed the message to Mission Control that two large, mysterious objects were watching them after having landed near the moon module. But this message was never heard by the public, because NASA censored it. According to a Dr. A. Lake Andrikas Santsef, Buzz Aldrin took color movie film of the UFOs from inside the module, and continued filming them after he, and Armstrong went outside. Armstrong confirmed that the story was true but refused to go into further detail, beyond admitting that the CIA was behind the cover-up. During a Reddit, Ask Me Anything session, Aldrin said the first humans to set foot on Mars should never return to Earth. When one user asked Aldrin if he believed in aliens and asked him about the sightings he saw on board Apollo 11, the astronaut replied. On Apollo 11 en route to the moon, I observed a light out the window that appeared to be moving alongside us. There were many explanations of what that could be, other than another spacecraft from another country or another world. It was either the rocket we had separated from, or the four panels that moved away when we extracted the lander from the rocket, and we were nose to nose with the two spacecraft. Although Aldrin was reluctant to describe the sighting as an extraterrestrial craft, he believes there are other life forms in space. Edgar Dean Mitchell When I learned that aliens really do exist, I wasn't too surprised. But what did shock me when I started investigating extraterrestrial reports a decade ago is the extent to which the proof has been hushed up. It isn't just the US government which has kept quiet about alien visits. It would be arrogant of an American like myself to assume that ETs would only choose to visit my country. Indeed, I've heard convincing stories about governments all over the world that know of alien visits, including the British government. In 1971, Mitchell became the sixth person to walk on the moon, and the journey spiritually transformed his life in such a way that he devoted much of his time exploring esoteric realms of science, 
psychic phenomena, and the existence of extraterrestrial beings. He was convinced after the journey to the moon that aliens have been observing us and have been here for some time. Mitchell once even claimed that peace-loving aliens had visited Earth to save humanity from nuclear war, and indicated the Vatican knew about the existence of extraterrestrials. Mitchell, who had been outspoken about his belief in aliens, told Mirror Online that top-ranking military sources had spotted UFOs during weapons tests. He also said that strange crafts flying over missile bases at the White Sands facility have been spotted by military insiders. The facility is a government-owned rocket engine test site where the world's first ever nuclear bomb was detonated in 1945. Gordon Cooper Intelligent beings from other planets regularly visit our world in an effort to enter into contact with us. NASA and the American government know this and possess a great deal of evidence. Nevertheless, they remain silent in order not to alarm people. I am dedicated to forcing the authorities to end their silence. Cooper was one of the seven astronauts who took part in Project Mercury, the first human spaceflight program of the U.S., which ran from 1958 to 1963. Cooper the last American to fly in space alone, had said he spotted UFOs flying over Germany seven years before he went into space. In 1963, when he shot into space in a Mercury capsule for a 22-orbit journey around the world, Cooper told the tracking station he could see a glowing, greenish object appearing in front of him, and approaching his capsule. The UFO was reportedly real, and solid, because even the tracking radar had picked it up, according to CityNet. According to a taped interview by author, J. L. Ferrando, Cooper revealed how he felt he was living with a secret, which was imposed on all specialists in astronautics. I can now reveal that every day, in the USA, our radar instruments capture objects of form and composition unknown to us and there are thousands of witness reports, and a quantity of documents to prove this, but nobody wants to make them public, he said. He added. Because authority is afraid that people may think of God knows what kind of horrible invaders. So the password still is. We have to avoid panic by all means. Brian O'Leary. O'Leary who was one of the 11 astronauts named for a possible NASA Mars mission in the 1960s, authored three books that spoke about our connection to UFOs. He had also lectured on the subject across the world. Regarding crop circles that he first saw in 1991 in England, he said in an interview. The crop circle phenomenon, besides the hoaxed ones, is a very real phenomenon created by some unknown probably non-human intervention, according to UFO evidence. O'Leary is also reported to have said, there is abundant evidence that we are being contacted. Civilizations have been monitoring us for a very long time, and that their appearance is bizarre from any type of traditional materialistic Western point of view. Caddy Coleman Mission Control, we have a UFO pacing our position, request instructions. Astronaut Caddy Coleman. NASA Transmission, Shuttle Mission STS-73. Donald Slayton. Donald Slayton, a Mercury astronaut, revealed in an interview he had seen UFOs in 1951. I was testing a P-51 fighter in Minneapolis when I spotted this object. I was at about 10,000 feet on a nice, bright, sunny afternoon. I thought the object was a kite, then I realized that no kite is gonna fly that high. As I got closer it looked like a weather balloon, gray and about three feet in diameter. But as soon as I got behind the darn thing it didn't look like a balloon anymore. It looked like a saucer, a disc. About the same time, I realized that it was suddenly going away from me, and there I was, running at about 300 miles per hour. I tracked it for a little way, and then all of a sudden the damn thing just took off. It pulled about a 45 degree climbing turn and accelerated and just flat disappeared.